Now to see the further examples on this. Now for those reference relations which contains the terms in this form a raised to the power n. They follow the different theorems. They follow the different theorems like this. Let us see an example. Say find the general solution of a n plus 5 times a n minus 1 plus 6 times of a n minus 2 is equal to 40 into 4 is to the power n. No, the term on the right hand side it contains the n and it depends upon the values of n. But no, it is in the form of this type a raised to the power n. This does not affect on the result of the theorem. We are concerned only with this a raised to the power n. What is the value of a? No. In such problems, rather, we have to find the characteristic roots of the homogeneous parts to check this integral value is either a part of the characteristic roots or not. See, the homogeneous part, it has a n plus 5 times of a n minus 1 plus 6 times of a n minus 2 is equal to 0. Here, the characteristic equation is r square plus 5r plus 6 is equal to 0, r square plus 3r, 2r plus 6 is equal to 0, then r plus 3 plus 2, r plus 3 is equal to 0, r plus 3, r plus 2 is equal to 0. It means r is equal to minus 3 and minus 2. These are the two characteristics of roots of the equation. Now, in such problems, it is very necessary to find these characteristic roots because now we are telling either this value 4, this value 4 exists as a characteristic root of the characteristic equation or does not exist. For the both cases, there are different particular solutions. Here we see 4 is not the part of any of the two values. It means characteristic roots are different and A is different. There are two possibilities. It may be there and it may not be there. For the both different cases, we discuss the different theorems. But in this case, it is clear 4 is not a part of the characteristic roots. Then what is the <coughs> particular <coughs> particular solution for this that is particular solution is q into 4 raised to the power n. Now we use this theorem. For other condition we will discuss in other example. Here what is q? q is any constant into 4 raised to the power n. From here we have considered this. I say this value does not affect the results of our theorem. No. What to do? Put these values of particular solution in number 1 as usual. Put in 1. Then we see here, remember, it is q constant a n into 4 raised to the power n plus 5 times of a n minus 1 n changes to n minus 1 5 into q into 4 raised to the power n minus 1 plus 6 here n changes to n minus 2 6 into 4 raised to the power n minus 2 is equal to 42 into 4 raised to the power n Again, the basic algebra, but somehow different. The algebra we used in the previous examples. See, q into 4 raised to the power n 
plus 5 into q into 4 raised to the power n into 4 raised to the power minus 1. Separate the powers by using the simple exponent theorem. Bases are same, powers are added. Plus 6 into 4 raised to the power n into 4 raised to the power minus 2 that is equal to 42 into 4 raised to the power n. Now from left hand side we take common 4 raised to the power n. It will become q plus 5 q 4 minus 1 means 1 by 4 plus 6 by 16 is equal to 42 into 4 raised to the power n. Comparing, compare coefficients of 4 raised to the power n on both sides because we don't have any linear or quadratic or a constant term but it is in the form of a raised to the power n that's why we have converted all the relation into a raised to the power n so that we could take common from both the sides. Now we see it is q plus 5q divided by 4 plus 6 by 16 is equal to 42. That is 16q plus 20q plus 6 divided by 16 is equal to 42. We can simplify this relation that is 16q plus 20 that is 36q plus 6 is equal to 42 into 16 that is equal to 672. It means 36q is equal to 666. It means q is equal to 666 divided by 36. What is the particular solution? Therefore, particular solution is 666 divided by 36 into 4 raised to the power n. That is the particular solution for a given condition in which in which a is not the part of the given characteristic roots. Now we see the condition where the a exists as a characteristic root of the characteristic equation. Here we are finding only the particular solution, the general solution and the final solution is same as we discussed previously for the homogeneous part. Now solve the relation fn minus 3 times fn minus 1 minus 4 times fn minus 2 is equal to 4 raised to the power n. Again, it contains the term in the form a raised to the power n. Now, the homogeneous part is fn minus 3, fn minus 1 plus 4, fn minus 2 is equal to 0. Here, characteristic equation is r square minus 3r minus 4 is equal to 0. Then we can factorize it in that is r is equal to minus 1 and 4. After factorization we get this. But what we see here it is value is 4 and here is also 4. It means a repeats itself in the as a characteristic root of the characteristic equation and in this way this problem differs from the previous one. No. General solution is same but what is the difference between the particular solution 
so we consider that the particular solution is q into n into 4 raised to the power n this n is the difference q n into 4 raised to the power n now <coughs> again we put it in number 1 put in 1 in given reference relation f n it means q into n into 4 raised to the power n minus 3 times q n minus 1 4 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 4 times n minus 2 for this term n is n minus 2 into 4 raised to the power n minus 2 is equal to 4 raised to the power n that is q n into 4 raised to the power n minus 3 q into n minus 1 into 4 raised to the power n divided by 4 minus 4 into n minus 2 into 4 raised to the power n divided by 16 that is equal to 4 raised to the power n that is 4 raised to the power n q into n minus 3 q into n minus 1 divided by 4 minus n minus 2 divided by 4 is equal to 4 raised to the power n comparing coefficients on both sides comparing coefficients on both sides first of all simplify better that is 4 raised to the power n into 4 q n divided by 4 minus 3 q into n minus 1 minus n minus 2 is equal to 4 raised to the power n 4 raised to the power n into 4 q n minus 3 q n plus 3 q minus n plus 2 divided by 4 
characteristic equation is r minus 2 is equal to 0 and r is equal to 2. Now see clearly 2 which is the a it is the part of the given characteristic roots it is also 2 and it is also 2 then we follow the second part of the theorem the particular solution is q into n into a raised to the power n. every time it is not 4 raised to the power n anything say a raised to the power n then q n into 2 raised to the power n put in 1 again we put it in number 1 fn fn means q into n into 2 raised to the power n minus 2 times of fn minus 1 q n minus 1 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to 3 into 2 raised to the power n q into n into 2 raised to the power n minus 2 q n minus 1 into 2 divided by 2 is equal to 3 into 2 raised to the power n then 2 raised to the power n q n minus q into n minus 1 is equal to 3 into 2 raised to the power n we can cancel it or q n minus q n plus q is equal to 3 from here we directly find the value of q therefore particular solution is equal to 3 into n into 2 raised to the power n in such cases sir we are only finding the particular solutions because the homogeneous part has the same solution as we discussed previous to this.